No? You don't? I think so. Really? Uh, man. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think so. I can't remember. There's one here I'm like, this hero needs a this hero needs a nerf. I was talking what about hero do you day. think needs a nerf? I still think Brew needs a slight nerf. Brumati, I still think yeah. Ogre and I think Ogre and Jakiro also need one. Their stats are just like yeah, insane. No. Oh, that's what I think Yule Scepter needs a nerf. I think Yule Yules? Scepter. Yule's? Really? Is, is I don't think so. Uh, I'm sick of this Yule Scepter bullshit. On so it's 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 just so ridiculously good on some heroes. Like I'm thinking it's partly like the Jakiro, like the Trenkles plus Yules, like giving you so much movement speed. Well, why don't well you just nerf Jakiro? That's I guess so. That's all also doable. I don't think Yules is that broken. I think it's it's annoying, and it's it's, pro it's also probably because blinks are so popular. Then you're like, well, my blinks useless because they have Yules, but it's not. It, it's I think it's okay. I guess working as intended as a semi blink counter in a lot of situations. But then you then you also have all like you can dodge so many spells with it, and it does a lot. Then these effigy, I will smash you. <laughs> is that him on the the Enigma? Oh, that's the puppy one. You want <laughs> the <me>. puppy's one? <laughs> puppy's one's funny. <laughs> when the Don gave the D, I don't get that. I'm not sure either. And yeah, I think I need. A I like puppies the most. <laughs> oh, DC, d double DC. <laughs> We're looking at effigies here. Oh, no. Dude, I didn't even. Know Spell should be. Navi. Dendi gonna be mid on the Ember Spirit, and that puts Fanic safe lane solo Tide Hunter. For Team Secret, Simba gonna be Tide because Tide. Genuine Tide Hunter Blink Dagger. I've seen. Uh, okay. This is the one from TI, I think. I remember seeing it Was somewhere it? at TI. I gotta look these up. I thought I knew about cosmetics, but apparently not. Cosmetics watch with Ben really I, I don't know my cosmetics, so you're gonna have to inform me there. So, Tri Lane Top is currently against the Jewel Lane, there's no tail. Well, he's gonna quickly make his way up here, I think, when he realizes what's going on. At least get here in time for this pull. Or the stack. They didn't... They, they're offensive trying, but they haven't blocked this pull camp. So, from secret side, they could just try and deny as much XP and pull the weight back uh, using that, but... It's still also gonna be a case where Na'Vi have... Because you're on the Radiant side, you can also use the pull in the big camp yourself if you're Na'Vi. So you get it from the he Dota 2 Hero Clicks miniatures. What is that? I don't know. Dota 2 Hero Clicks miniatures? They're like the collectible action figures, I think, or something. Ah. That's cool. Okay. Nifty. Puppy and No Tail gonna farm their pull up, and. Well, Navi already gonna go for a pull of their own. So, Navi can fight pulls with their own pulls in this uh, Radiant offlane. We'll see how things pan out, though. This is, this is gonna be a Void who does not. Uh, he's got 0 CS crew, and it's probably gonna stay that way for, for some time. So what, what's the latest in the cosmetics, Ben? How, uh, much, how I, much is it I was, worth? I was looking at the Conch Cudgel, and Conch Cudgel, this item can only be attained by purchasing limited edition figurines from Perfect World at the China Qualifiers for the International 2014. Dendi almost gets a kill in S4, but now he's going to get turned around. A one ball from S4, this is a kill, and oh, he gets him with the arc. No. Oh, dear. Dendi oh. went in for the kill, and... Level 3 is usually the kill, uh... Oh, he sees the Korea instead. Go Black could have gone for the kill on S4, but goes for the Curry instead, which is, I guess, a bit more money. And uh, has the haste rune, so he should be able to get out of here. Yeah. You, you level 3 is usually the kill point for Ember. You get level 3, you get level 2 Flame Guard, you go on a hero that doesn't have that much magic damage, and then you get a kill. But not versus Zeus, it looks like. I think Zeus's boots arrived, maybe just in time, to get out of the Flame Guard range. I'm not, I didn't. Ex I saw the end of it, and then Dendi went under the tower and he had to run. 800 gold. Uh, as well as Boots Bottle. What in the world is his net worth? He can't buy anything because the Courier is dead, unfortunately. But yeah, I think his Boots arrived on the Courier, and that's kind of what saved him, perhaps. But yeah, either way, it's going to be a happy, happy Zeus. Dendi at mid his well, in Struggle Town now. He's going to try and push forward, but Dendi does not have the Boots advantage. S4 has. So there's no way Dendi gets a kill anymore. Gets his boots arriving, but you're still boots versus boots, and Zeus is doing fantastic. Goblet gets I stomped, and he's gonna get chased down. Easy kill for Big Daddy. Yeah, just caught on the wrong side there. Navi had a Voss low and couldn't really fight away from their creep wave, so. Bad stuff for Navi, <laughs> that's for sure, even with the courier kill. 
But I'm not gonna be too pleased with uh, the the solo kill that S4 pulls on Dendi. Oh, you can still do that trick. You kill the tree here and then bought the arcane boots. Oh, in the mid lane. Yeah, I, I you could do that before the patch, but after yeah. Roshan chained around the area, I wasn't sure. Okay, that's nice to know. So it's uh, yeah, it cuts down this tree and you stand like right in this little corner here. You just are standing right where that tree is. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's that's, that's it is something kind of nifty on that dire middle lane side. Although you just so few mid heroes get arcane boots. Zeus being one of the the few, I guess. Yeah. True that. True that. Saved himself some time, and yeah, he's already level five and a half to Dendi's well, level four. Although Dendi is just about level five, but S4 is going to be probably getting the four minute rune at bottom. Uh, the top rune will get controlled by the Navi supports. And assuming S4 can get himself a rune, when he hits level 6, he's going to pose a big threat across the map. Like this trialing versus trialing, Seeker could look to engage using potentially that Th Thunder God's Wrath to support to go for some kills. Finally getting harassed on bottom, but he is doing A OK versus Simba, winning out 18 CS to 11. Then he's trying to borrow Crow to keep his HP up, but I don't really think he can contest. Uh, Zeus's magical damage output. Goblet like, gets smoked up, or is that Invis? Yeah. Uh, can they kill us for? I think they. No, S4 saw the observe. He saw the rune and also has a sentry. He's done, and Simba's got no way to get out of this one. Navi, get themselves on the board. Top lane, meanwhile, though, Havos going to go down to the three-man gank of Secret in. That's the problem with Ogre leaving the lane. As soon as they see Ogre bottom lane on the map, they know it's safe to go on on Havost. Yeah, this level one Echo Stomp too. M Big Daddy's, I, I mean, it used to be standard to go 0 4, four but uh, with a Echo Stomp, it's just so much easier to set up kills. After the time walk slow wears off, the melees can run to the other side of the hero, and then yeah. just get a lot more uptime. Mm -hmm. TP in from Simba, but <laughs> TP in the Vank score. Now Goblet gonna show up as well. Simba, he just recently died, and possibly another death coming up. The Ravage gonna catch three. Simba's still alive thanks to the Grave, but they're looking at multiple kills coming their way with Dendi. Burning down the Elder Titan as well as one more, and he's gonna now fire him, and that's a triple kill for Dendi. The third not going his way, he's looking for S4. S4 turns around, has an ultimate, but it's gonna get just a Skywrath Mage, he's not gonna find a way out of it. Dendi does get the triple kill in the end. Okay. Four for one. That's what, a big rabbit. What was that TV for? <laughs> I think he was trying to gank Dendi, and then he just TP'd on top of the Skywrath Mage. Like, Skywrath was just waiting in the fog, which is exactly where Prophet TP'd on to, more or less. And I don't, I don't know what, what yeah, the fly was thinking. Funny guys, they really setting that fight up with that, I think, four-man Ravage right there. I think it just caught three, but it the fourth hero was, was kind of zoned out because of it. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> if Denny had a rough start, it is uh, <laughs> irrelevant at this point. Yeah, phase, brace, uh, TP scroll with the magic wand. Yeah, this is exactly where you want your Ember Spirit to be at six minutes in. Man, imagine if he got first blood himself instead of getting first blooded. It'd be a dirty, dirty yeah. Ember. But with level 4 flame guard up pretty soon, a lot of these heroes are toast. Zeus is still doing well. I guess your Zeus dying there isn't the, the worst case. He's got his arcane boots, he's level 7. He hasn't been shut down by any means, and we'll see a potential gank towards the top lane. Funny gonna get chronosphered right on the edge here. Puppy though, silenced up means there's no shadow wave damage to follow this one. Funny gonna get stunned up by the Titan, and now, well, probably gonna go down one or two more right clicks. That'll finish him off with the help of a Prophet ultimate. Good silence on the puppy, just n preventing the shadow wave damage. But that was a timely bash there. Without that bash, maybe would not have been a kill. Mid lane, S4 going to get initiated on. There's a searing chains, but Dendi does not have the flame guard, and S4 has an ultimate, but he needs a bit more damage. Dendi going to get sprouted up. No follow. -up. <laughs> There's enough follow up. Zeus with the ultimate comes flying through, and that's another kill going Secret's way. Just a bit over aggressive. Dendi fire remnanting it in. Did not have his fire flame remnant flame guard up. Only had the searing chains and. Well, pays the price. They're doing a really good job of protecting the Zeus, though, because yeah. Navi's trying to gank him while he's still weak. But I'm not sure whether he's going to go for Blink Dagger. I'd say fairly likely that he will, though. At least for Navi, they didn't lose Dendi. It was just the Yoga Magi who ended up going down, so yeah, damage Dendi could have been worse. so close to dying. Yeah. My first thought when he just disappeared, I'm like, oh, Dendi's dead. I'm like, wait, no. Just you fire him out of there, so... Well, Dendi's, he's level 7 matching up to uh, well, S4 pretty well, who's just hit level 8, picks up a Staff of Wizardry, and... Puppy plants a kind of obvious ward. I think they saw Puppy plant that, so that should get de-warded pretty quickly. 
as he comes through just to get that high ground ward. This is one of like my favorite wards, just getting it on the enemy hilt for the high ground vision, but you have to try to do so without being spotted planning. Well, he tried to do it at night time, but he yeah. was just like a tad bit too slow. And bottom lane, meanwhile. Yeah. Whew. I don't know if they can kill him. They need... Prophet ultimate and then like Zeus plus ulti. one TP. Zeus ulti, Prophet ulti, and <laughs> void maybe? Yeah. Yeah, Voss is fairly low, but he's got the strength treads up, 700 HP still. So for, for Navi, getting Havos's farm seems to be at least one of the priorities down here towards the bottom lane. He's just kind of sitting on the bare basics for now, and Funnick's going to start stacking up some Ancients. He's doing really well, has level 8. No points in Gush, has gone purely for the Kraken Shell plus the Anchor Smasher. He's going to try to stack Ancients. Oh, fail. They do have a ward. God, a lot of damage there. It's actually bottom lane. They've gone in on Havos. They're going to need a bit more with these right clicks here. And TP's coming in. Havos dealing a decent amount of damage from Simba. Funnick, without Gush, is not actually going to catch up to Simba out of this one. It doesn't look like it. Phase Boots helping Simba escape. Meanwhile, Dendi died on the middle lane. Oh dear. I don't know if you saw what happened mid, but... I did not. It was bottom lane where they were trying to go on the Havos Razor and couldn't quite get the damage they needed. Go back at mid. Jeez, you be careful, man. Taking heavy damage from this Zeus. Oh. Yeah, so it was, uh, I think Denji just got caught by surprise by the Prophet ultimate, because he he died to, like, towers slash creeps. I'm surprised he doesn't have a point inside a fist. Usually you'll see one point just for extra added mobility without having to use your ultimate, or just yeah. a couple of seconds of, uh, invulnerability. Yeah, you can do dodge a spell or two, maybe like something like an Echo Stomp from the Elder Titan or whatever it may be. Well, I was going to TP in mid lane. He's just picked up the Ring Aqua to go with his treads, and Dendi's still working on that drums now, so after that triple kill, Dendi kind of has gone back quiet once more. Like, there was that one good fight for Navi where they killed four, and apart from that, they've not really done too much this game. They're going to lose a top two on tower, and that's Kuro on Void with treads, Ring Aquila. He's got the max time lock, so even though he's got no Mask of Madness or anything, he's still got a decent amount of killing potential with the Chronosphere. Oh, Dendi's shield just fell off instantly. He got bolted, and then the Astral Spirit came through, and there goes your shield. 500 damage. Easy peasy. Yeah, he cannot count on the thing. Alright. This... And you've got the double global ultis with the Zeus and the Nature's Prophet. That's the other nice thing about this lineup, so... <laughs> Flame Guard damage is just going to be dealt with very quickly on the secret side. And both of those spells can be amplified with the Elder Titan here. We are going to see middle lane Vang's going to hit by the Spirit. One Zeus ultimate will spell his death, but Zeus ulti on cooldown, so... No Zeus ulti please today. Oh, actually, it is going to be top lane. They're going with the Chronosphere onto Havos, and with the Shadow Wave, there's a Creep Wave surrounding him. The Creeps are even attacking inside the Chronosphere. That was a perfectly placed Chrono by Kuro. And another death to a Voss, who's now 0-2. And everyone in mid was just so low from the Prophet ulti and Zeus ulti. Like, they, they didn't even really engage and everyone's at half health. How are they supposed to take these fights? Yeah. Tidehunter is also rushing a hood, it looks like. So, no Blink Dagger initiate from them. They're really relying on the Dendi searing chains to set up kills for them. But he's just... I mean, there goes the shield again. That... that's brutal. Maybe not the best game to be picking Ember Spirit, because this was their last pick, this game as well. Goblox smoked up, they're trying to kill S4 as he goes for the rune. Yeah, they're on the high ground, and there was no vision there for S4. Actually, they did have the vision in the mid lane with that Observe Ward, and S4 will get blown up. Did cost them a Ravage, though, so... From that point of view, Secret now have a two-minute window with Ravage on cooldown, and... I don't think they'll be too upset about that. Nope. I guess they lie. didn't see Puppy plant this ward, because he has not been dewarded. Well, they saw him running away, but they yeah. couldn't tell what exactly he was doing. Yeah. They, I mean, it, from our point, it was pretty obvious, but yeah. from to them, they're probably like, well, he might just be scouting out or yeah. looking for a gank, or even just placing a sentry ward. And sometimes you maybe see a ward, and you're like, look, we know it's warded, but we're going to save money, not buy sentries, and just, if we want to gank that lane, you then have to smoke. And that's kind of what Navi did there with their Ogre Skyrath. Secret accruing pretty decent gold lead, 3,000 gold lead, but with only a one tower advantage, and still, they're in a somewhat precarious position, um, but not that bad. Tidehunter has gotten decent mileage out of his ravages, but Faceless Void is still getting a lot of farm, Zeus getting a lot of kills, and already four staff complete, so he's looking good. And just Void having this Mask of Madness, he can solo kill just about anyone on the map now. 
Like, there's not many of these series you can get out. tied. Yeah, so. that's true. Kraken as well as the the hood to reduce some of the the bash damage. Or if I mean, if he gets anger smash, definitely yeah. not. Yeah. Anyone else should be able to. Even Dendy with uh, even if he's full HP. Oh, he's about to get chronoed. Oh, Dendy, mask he's just at it. the edge. Oh, the sun's coming to Kuro! Gets blown up, and Dendy gonna survive. I think he maybe even dodged the Zeus ultimate with the. With the, well, no, he actually had the flame gather, which probably negated a lot of that damage. And well, the chase is still on. Havol's gonna show up, and Simba TP'd into a really bad spot. Questionable place for him to be on that nature's profit. And yeah, two multicasts, two kills. Way to go, ogre. <laughs> God black. Is it even luck anymore? I guess. I guess level one multicast. Level one is, definitely is. Oh, yeah, forty percent. Okay. It's that's pretty high. To get two in a row. I mean, you're looking at what? A Laguna blade damage. Yeah. That spell is just... <laughs> mm -hmm. See, miss, miss the, uh, miss the steering chains there. S4 just gets like annihilated by like a quick arc lightning plus the lightning bolt with the static field damage. He goes from like 3 quarters HP to just less than a quarter in no time at all. Dendi, same thing as well. Puts the fight flame guard up to help him out here. Funnick's got no mana for a Ravage, so... He's just kind of threatening, but I imagine Secret have seen that he's out of mana and not, are not too worried about the Ravage right now. Pipe is almost up for Funnick, and this is, well, a <laughs> fantastic game for a Pipe when you're against Zeus Prophet. But it will cost him Initiate, and I think that Initiation might be more important, because yeah. they need to get a BKB on Razor anyway, right? So they're really just saving, I guess, Tidehunter himself, but after Ravage, he's not particularly useful. Ember, he already has his Flame Guard, so he's not going to get bursted down immediately. And Ogre is already pretty squishy, so as much as I like Pipe, I actually think Blink uh, would be a better first item for him this game. Yeah. you got to imagine he'll go for the Blink next, but... They are, like, Dendi's the only one with a good long-range initiation now with the Fire Remnants, but Fire Remnant in has not really proven to be a great way to actually win a fight, necessarily. Multicast, man. That's what they need. Let's come to that. Yeah. <laughs> Multicast has, so far, been paying off for them. Chronosphere up in two seconds, and Kuro's ready to go at bottom lane. Havos and Dendi both gonna get caught in this one. Dendi's the first target. The Astral Spirit coming in as well. He gets destroyed! And there's your Elder Titan ultimate being set up by the Chronosphere as well. Two kills, make it three, with Vanksko going down. Perfect Chronosphere from Kuro. Yikes. They're just not respecting Chronospheres. No respect, man. I think like, Dendi should not have been caught there with her boss. Like, having her boss in the front lines trying to slow Siege a Town, maybe, but Dendi sitting right next to him for that Chronosphere, bad news. And that's where not having like a blink on your Tide, if Tide's there and it's sitting back and can blink and ravage Kuro inside the Chronosphere, maybe you do okay, but even with a blink ravage, like, the damage was still there from the Zeus Prophet. It's still questionable too, if, yeah, if he knows that he has a blink, immediately as Chrono uh, pops, he'll just drop his ultimate and then, boom, they find Tide, he can't blink, easy dead target Simba getting chased down by Dendi, is he gonna be able to hit the chains? Well, not gonna go for it. Yeah, I guess he could probably just TP out afterwards. It would have been close. Yeah, I think for Navi, they're kind of... They had just have to farm at this point to get their Blink on Tide, BKB on Razor, because these fights are not going well for them. But the problem is, they're not going well because of Chronosphere, and Chronosphere is still going to deal with these items pretty well. Kiro's getting fat. Yeah, he's... If he wants to, he just goes BKB next, but often we see stuff like the Maelstrom for that extra bit of damage inside the Chronosphere with the Maelstrom, uh, with the Maelstrom as well as the uh, Mask of Madness. But he's got plenty of options as far as item progression goes. To be fair, he could just go BKB and be really safe. Yeah. And the BKB for Havos is... He's halfway there with the Ogre Club and 1k gold, but... It's a little bit of a ways. Middle lane, S4. It's been initiated on here. There's a slow coming in. Dendi's turned around. Has the flame guard turned on, so... We'll see how Secret respond to this one. Chronosphere's up, so Void... Uh, cannot TP. He's actually got his TP on cooldown, although whether or not Navi know that's another matter. Looks like both teams are ready to go. Gobux coming in, we're ready for a stun as well. So here comes the multicast, perhaps. Nice full stuff to the high ground. Elder Tang gonna turn, throw his ultimate. Stun comes in on S4, and it is the multicast that we're talking about there. They get one and back off, so... 
I don't think that pause particularly benefited anyone. If anything, it benefited Secret so that they could plan maybe a, a bit of an escape there, but there was no escape av available for S4. And crew has got Chronosphere. He's not going to need it for Goblet. Gets the first hit bash. The time walk slow is there. He's going to use it just to be on the safe side. I guess want to get multicast. <laughs> yeah, he gets multicasted with Mask of Madness on, and Navi shot up with like a, a Ravage or something, and suddenly Kuro is dead. May as well play safe. No graves have come out on Zeus yet either. Yeah. He does have Max Grave too. There was the one mid lane where he died, anyways, when the Navi, the team fight Navi won, but. Yeah, that's the only grave we've really seen. T1 mid tower will be Radiant's potentially taken by secret. Now we have three nearby. Have a ravage, and that's a TPing tide hunter. Puppy gets caught out. It gets and as a result, nice four star from S4. He four star puppy outside of the ravage. And S4 gets hit by it, but he's got no follow up damage. Puppy still maybe going to go down. Graves himself once more. I'm going to TP out the chains on cooldown. Fantastic play from secret. And meanwhile, in the mid lane they've killed the razor as well as the tide. Kuro showing up. And even though without a Chronosphere, it's still a fight going Secret's way. That 4-star from S4, that was some fantastic stuff. And now Dendi's Flame Guard once again just gets bursted off by the Zeus damage. TP's, well, TP's not going to come, it's going to be a time walk forward. And Secret are just on the chase here, they want more! Zeus with a Bolt ulti will blow up the Skywrath Mage and... Yikes! Three for nothing in the end. That was meant to be a good fight for Na'Vi. Yeah, I mean, when you're using Ravage to kill a Dazzle, though, not the greatest idea. They saw the Zeus, but maybe they thought that he was going to force staff uh, himself out if he got Ravaged, and they yeah. just weren't able to focus on the right target. That was... Well, not <laughs> not how Na'Vi envisioned that one going. You TP in a Tide and you have three other heroes there, you're expecting some kind of result. And this is where we go back to him not having a Blink. If yeah. he has a Blink, it's... He doesn't even have to use his Ravage, he can just blink right on top of Puppy, get a lot of damage on him, or just walk up to him and then blink if he sees his teammates coming through, but his pipe hasn't really done much for him. They were fighting with Ravage against no Chronosphere as well, like Void's Chronosphere was on cooldown from the Yoga kill, so... From that point of view, Na'Vi should have a huge teamfight edge, but... It wasn't the case, Puppy now gonna walk into a silence here, Gush as well, he's trying to dodge the Skyrath ultimate, does manage to do so pretty successfully, but will knock it out. He couldn't get the grave off the silence, locked him in place, no tell now, gonna hit a nice two hero stun, four stuffs out, Chronosphere shows up, only catches that one, but it's still gonna be, well a big kill if he can get it, it's gonna be the Tidehunter who gets picked off by the Kuro Chrono. And uh, Na'Vi thinking about maybe some return fire here, but... Chasing into these four staffs has so far proven to be not very effective. It's, they've now got two of them, with Elder Titan also picking his up. Man, Zeus almost has Bloodstone. He is... I mean, if he was difficult to kill before, he's sitting on yeah. 1500 HP. Who has the damage to kill him? I, I don't think it's an easy answer. And he stays alive long... Even if they have the damage to kill him, if he just stays alive, alive long enough for a Dazzle Grape to come in, he gets kept alive, and during that time while he's graved, he can keep on dealing more damage with all his nukes, which are almost maxed out. He just needs uh, level 14 to get the max out Arc Lightning. So, Na'Vi have a lot of problems. The net worth really shows it right now. The top three farmers heavily on the secret side. So, I'd imagine the gold graph, yeah, 10k net worth advantage going secret's way. And Go Black's dead. So a 21 minute Bloodstone for Zeus with his 4 stuff, and S4 is 8, 3, and 5. He's just been having a fantastic time this game. E everyone on the secret side as far as their core heroes. Prophet had a few questionable TPs and didn't exactly win his lane that he wasn't meant to win, but everything has just been all secret this game. Zeus ult used for good measure to secure the kill on Razor, and yeah, Kira's gotten to that point where he can just... Solo kill anyone. Yeah. Tidehunter, doesn't matter, he has a pipe. Razor, doesn't have BKB, easy kill. He doesn't even need the Chrono half the time. As uh, we'll see Funnick at mid lane, body blocks. Not going to put him into the uh, Earth Splitter from No Tail, but... Doesn't matter, you miss one ulti hero there, it's not the end of the world for Secret. They've got such a big lead all of a sudden. And Dendi just hasn't been able to run in. He's so darn squishy. He gets Chrono, he's dead. He fights without Flame Guard, up he's dead. And how long does Flame Guard last? Next to nothing. And <laughs> he doesn't have any armor either. Yeah. Minus five armor for Elder Titan, and then combine that with Weave. It's good luck. Well, Navi have their work cut out for them if they want to turn this one around. And Funix picked up another ring, so this could be 
a four staff, it could be a mech, but you got to think he needs some kind of initiation, which you'd normally say blink dagger, but maybe he's thinking he goes four staff against like the Zeus Elder Titan, since they're going to be so easily cancelling his blink, so it could be a four staff, but... I mean, but... It doesn't really cut it. Secret's not just going to let a Tidehunter walk up, even with four staff, and ravage them. That's asking yeah. for way too much. He four staffs at you, you four staff away if, you're, if he, you're worried about a Ravage coming in. And his team doesn't have that much mobility either, so even if he does force in and Ravage, Void can just Chrono and catch at least two, usually three, I'd say. Yeah. Well, things looking bad for Na'Vi. Havost is still not got his BKB at 23 minutes, which, considering... Just play it safe. BKB... DCs, well, their owners needed like a better with like not back when. So I think that it's a little bit better for them if they run, you know, something more like Secret Strath, which is less standard with the first pick Zeus. Yeah. First phase pick Zeus. Oh, they caught. <laughs> okay, he died. Three in. right clicks and then like some Zeus damage as well. And Kuro's just going ham. He's got the Aegis. Even if you kill him once, he's going to come back to life. And they've used so much just to kill him that one time. The double four stuff escape is there. And then here comes a time walk from Kuro to the high ground. Kill two. Get out of there. Simba's pushing top. Mid lane. And he died so fast. Oh my gosh. S falls damage up. And this Bloodstone, he's got 11 charges. He's going to respawn in 15 seconds. You may have killed the Zeus, but you're going to lose all five. It's a team wipe. And guess what? Zeus is back alive in five seconds. I, I think Kuro only got three right clicks off before Dendi was dead. Was it three? I thought it was two. Maybe two. I don't know. I don't think he does enough, like, I'm looking at his damage, it doesn't look oh like he can kill God. him with two hits. There was a Zeus fault and like the, uh, maybe an Astral Spirit mixed in there, but yeah, he melted. Yeah, and when you can get away without getting a BKB, your damage is insane. Yeah. Now we'll see this T2 top tower going down, and with this, Na'Vi, top four net worth heroes all on the dire side now. It was previously just the top three, but Elder Titan has joined them up there, and Puppy kind of <laughs> on the front lines here, but he goes the Void. He just time walks in, no BKB, he says, who cares, I've got a great behind me, surely he does. There we go, Kuro kept alive, Earth Split are going to come through as well, and that helps bring down the Skywrath Mages. Go Black and Simba juking it out here, Simba, one more right click, gets the kill with the help of the Mjolnir. They lose two in the process, and that's an overextension from Team Secret. As Dendi's looking for a couple more kills here, they don't have the Ravage, but Puppy, Grave Shackles is there, and Dendi gonna catch up Puppy, cancel his TP, and that's gonna be a 3 for 2 trade in the ensuing fight. And S4 does not want to die again, this is a high value kill. Should Navi be able to get this one? Havos is in hot pursuit. He didn't actually... Oh, he's got a DKB. Buyback going to come out from the uh, the Nature's Prophet. He's now TP'd in to turn this one around. They kill Havos to start things off. They'll get the Tidehunter and Dendi. Can do nothing but fire running out of there as he skips back to his own base. Yikes. Worth the profit buyback in the end, for sure. They do manage to kill Kuro, though, and that kill was picked up by Dendi. So, that's a decent amount of gold for him, but at the same time, it was just like him walking like, ah, whatever, I don't have Aegis, I don't have BKB, I'm just gonna go in, hope Grave That was a pretty me. YOLO chronosphere. <laughs> yeah. Even with the, like, the Grave doesn't save you, it keeps you alive for an extra five seconds. But well, he didn't get the chronosphere, he went in without it, that was yeah. what, that's what was YOLO about it. So, uh, Dendi gonna make his way top lane where Prophet blinks out. Fly's got his Mjolnir blink dagger up, and Zeus actually goes for some boots of travel now, so. Boots of travel, four stuff, bloodstone. You a fan of this Zeus build? Yeah, boots of travel are nice. Four stuff is mandatory, I'd say. Yeah. The bloodstone, like it's it's one of those times you think like normally you want like the ag scepter thing, but bloodstone just gives you so much survivability, like more so than an ag scepter, and the shorter respawns also really nice, and everything else the bloodstone gives you. Yeah, you really don't need burst damage because you already have it. All you need to really yeah. do is survive in fights, and you'll do a ton more. So, I mean, luckily for him, he doesn't need a BKB. Yet. Yeah. Alright, Void gonna make his way bomb. He is working on a BKB now for the Kuro's Faceless Void, and this is... Well, he does so much damage now, he just needs to stay alive in a fight, which is fine. So, this should work out pretty well. As uh, Faceless Void is only a couple hundred gold away from it. So for Na'Vi, they're going to smoke up near this mid lane. Funny, has not finished his full stuff. He has got a couple of the pieces for it, and we'll see that online with his Ravage soon. 
But right now this smoke is not going to find too much apart from S4 Zeus. That's a big kill. Can they get a double multicast followed up by a lot of nukes? The first full stuff is there. S4 going to get ravaged as well. It was a TPing Dazzle who could have maybe gone for a grave, but wasn't there in time. And the counter gank is now coming from secret side. Boy going to time walk himself in. Gets one kill. The second's going to be onto Funic. And Na'Vi maybe get the Zeus out of that one, but they quickly lose two to follow, and it costs them a Ravage, so it doesn't even feel like a Na'Vi victory after all said and done. Yeah, it looked like he was scared of a shallow grave. Yep. Oh, Dendi gonna go to the low ground, but he still gets caught out by a Time Walking Kuro, as well as the Blink from Simba, and... That's a three for one trade. And now, guess what? Zeus re respawns with the Bloodstone resp respawn timer reduce, and he's already TP'd himself in with the Boots of Travel, so they're high ground with Zeus already back alive. And he's building a Dagon for good measure. Yeah, why not? Time lock in. Great Chronosphere. Vein score as well as Havos caught on both edges of it. Back for the Raxes. This is more or less GG, it feels like. I'm not sure there's too much that can be done out of this. Rays are going to buy back for one last hurrah, but that means no. Oh, he has got the BKB. But you're losing Raxes here. No Chronosphere, no Ravage at the same time on the Navi side. And Kuro's just time walked in, got him one kill. Havos going to be a full dieback after one more right click. Comes in. Simba with a double kill and. That's that's it for Navi. GG. It was just not the best early game for them, and the offensive trail lane didn't really seem to do too much. Well, I guess more importantly, Zeus with the solo kill on Dendi and just winning that mid lane. Yeah, I think they need to put out more pressure from their supports and really force the Zeus out of the lane. I, I mean, I think... I'm not exactly sure who's supposed to win that lane. Uh, that's not a very common matchup, but theoretically... In the mid lane? Yeah, I think Ember has the...